Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today we're taking a look at the Aero Nomad from 2003 for Throwback Thursday. This does come with 118 pieces and retailed for $20 back in the day. This was voted by my $5 up Patreon supporters. It's one of those older boxes, so the punch holes are right at the bottom. Ugh. This is previously unopened. Pour out the delicious Lego contents. We have some pieces, a bag, more pieces, lots of separate pieces. And then the instructions right there. Amazed there's no playing cards because sometimes with these Orn Expedition sets, they have these little trading cards or whatever they are. Here's the set all built up. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. So here is Johnny Thunder. And this is the first time I'm getting him in that torso because that torso only appears in two other sets and I don't have any of them. And no back printing. I mean, it is a 2003 minifigure, but oh man, I love Johnny Thunder as a character in terms of just seeing him throughout different sets. Now, he also comes with a sex tint as an accessory. And here is Dr. Kilroy, just another appearance by him. I like that torso a lot. I think he could still use it to this day. He has binoculars as an accessory and a very chipper face as usual. No back printing since this is an older minifigure. And now let's take a look at that build. So here is the Aero Nomad Hop Air Balloon, which you can see it is a pretty tall build and we'll take a closer look at it. So the balloon up top is actually a clever build where they use those uh, cockpit pieces that are more like a dome in this nice tan coloring. It's also something they did with uh, the desert uh, sub-theme of Adventurers. And how they have that net there is one of the worst freaking ideas. And I, this was probably my least favorite part about the whole set. And they have a string in the set, so that's saying a lot. They use rubber bands. And oh my gosh, I broke one of the rubber bands. And getting them, the, the instructions don't even explain how to do it like in an efficient way. They just kind of show it. It's like an older instruction. It was such a pain in the butt and spent like 30 minutes trying to get this. And one of them broke, so I had to knot it really good. So thankfully it looks okay now, but gosh, that was such an annoying thing to do because the rubber bands, all they do is hold down this net. I was considering not even putting on the net because it was such a pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, that, that was something. And with that net on, you can't really open this, but this does open a little bit. They show it on the box. I'm not even going to try it because I do not want to spend time putting those rubber bands on again. You can see how all those rubber bands kind of meet in the middle and they have two flames right there. They also have this propeller right here, which does not connect well to these parts. Um, it's just kind of using this base right here. I wish that was more secure on there, but you can give that propeller a little bit of a spin if you do it gently. As for the bottom base, there's enough room to maybe fit four minifigures, I would say, if you if you cram them in there. And we also have this helium container, which is quite cool. Uh, nice little, I guess, pseudo uh, wheel, steering wheel to kind of change the flames around, even though that doesn't really move it or anything. It's just for design. Or it could be a way to climb up top. And then we also have this little landing hook right here, this anchor, which if you want, you could wheel it down just like that. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot this build right here. You use the hook to actually uh, bring this up, the hook or anchor, and inside they have a pickaxe, a little a grapple, or, or sorry, zip line, and two pads right there, which are quite interesting. Other than that, that's it for the build of the set. A very tall build, which makes sense for a hot air balloon, and it's unique in many ways. I just wish that I didn't use that string down there and these super annoying rubber bands. But uh, let's go on to the packaging and the final verdict. So looking at the box, we do have some alternate builds at the back, which are a bit interesting. And you know what? Cards are actually included with this set. As for those cards, what is this, like a Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening? Shout out to my other channel where I open up Yu-Gi-Oh packs. We have, da -da -da -da. okay, let's see. Sextant, a rifle, axe, or pickaxe. Um, also Kilroy. The Aero Nomad, and that's it for the cards. For the instructions, you do have some nice comic book artwork, which I really like those. It's kind of similar to the ones they use in the Alpha Team sets. And then we get straight to the build. And back here, we have a little advertisement of the other sets, which I love Orient Expedition. You can see how getting them, you could get this little board right here. I didn't know that with the bigger sets. That's quite interesting. Also, there's a little insert of this shop at home freebie. So that's it for the packaging. Now let's take a look at the final product. So overall, I really like this Aero Nomad design. It looks good with the final product, but gosh, this building process was such a pain in the butt for unnecessary reasons with the rubber band and the little string at the bottom, which just kept coming off. One of the rubber bands broke. 
And that's just one of my biggest Lego pet peeves. I'll probably do a countdown of that someday. But I hope you guys enjoy this little review. Again, $5 up Patreon supporters can vote for the next one, which the poll should be up by the weekend. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.